Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read. Let's talk about Wednesday, April 26th, 2023. As always, keep in mind as we proceed that it is a general reading. Um, but we're going to begin by pulling from the, which deck is this? I always forget. The Flowers of the Night Oracle. And then I think we're going to pull one, if not two, Moonology cards and then some small everyday tarot to begin. Actually, I'm going to pull right from the middle. We're beginning with sensitivity, okay? So I'm only being guided, I'm being guided to only pull one from this deck, um, but there is an underlining focus on uh, devotion, okay? Whether it's somebody being devoted to you, it could be more so for the majority, I feel it's uh, your devotion towards a company, a project, the completion of something, uh, your devotion towards a job, you name it, or even one if not multiple goals of importance for you. Um, and I just was guided to look at the word royal, okay? Um, a sense of royalty being highlighted about your energy or about uh, something you're tied up to uh, or wrapped up in. Um, but sensitivity being the overall oracle, because I do feel like it's a day where each of us being drawn to this reading uh, in one way, if not multiple ways, feeling quite sensitive, okay? Uh, sensitive to energy, sensitive as far as your emotions go. I even feel like physically you could be feeling sensitive. You might find that there's a focus on one if not multiple um, uncomfortable, uneasy moments physically, whether it's like say your stomach or um, you name it, okay? Um, but I do feel like a lot it does have to do with your emotions, your feelings, um, sensitive to um, what's upcoming next. Uh, the uncertainty I feel like is taking a highlight. But let's pull from the Moonology deck. What else do we have for Wednesday? Coming out, your dreams need a practical plan. I could even put it on the, the table. And then a time for healing, okay? So it's a day where due to you being sensitive and the acknowledgement of why that is for some, if not just the fact that you are feeling this way, there's a need to heal. Now that healing could be more than one uh, thing for you, but a lot, again, it's your emotions, your feelings uh, connected to the past for a lot but it could be even physical healing. You might find it's a day where you have put work in towards feeling healthier, looking better, right? Um, Self-care, if you will, or it could have been through this day, uh, throughout this day, bear with me. Um, and therefore you need to heal in that sense. Um, but I do feel like Spirit's reminding you moving forward that there are conclusions within reach and the energy will gain momentum, but it's not really a day for that, all right? You might even find it is a day where you do have uh, a large amount of energy at one point, but then the rest of the day or the majority of which is feeling quite um, low in energy or just more simplistic, less rushed or just, um, yeah, high, okay, in momentum. But let's pull from the small everyday tarot. There's abundance to be reached is what I'm hearing. Um, the world card in reverse, okay? I do feel as if it's a day where there's a highlight on where things aren't changing, feeling a bit stagnant, very much delayed for a lot drawn to the reading. I know how that applies to my situation, but it reminds you that completion from the past was purposeful. And this comes up in these readings a lot, but it's being mentioned for more than one reason, because I do feel as if you're being prepped to fly towards more for you individually and potentially for your loved ones, for your life as a whole. But that being put with the dreams needing a practical plan card, Spirit's saying, well, how are we going to go about getting to where we want to be or where we need to be, uh, acquiring what is important for you at this time and moving forward, right? And that's going to look differently for everybody, but it feels as if you have certain important choices to make um, in this being highlighted in connection to in regards to what hasn't begun changing or maybe started to change and then took a halt. Um, I do feel as if uh, Spirit's saying, again, this being uh, just a, a little chunk of Mercury retrograde, a need to heal from all you've been through and prepare for busier days lying ahead. Now the Three of Cups, because I do feel like um, you're being informed that once you make an important choice for you, uh, you're going to be celebrating all the success and abundance flowing in for you and coming to be. Soon to be a state of prosperity. But I also feel like um, something that you love, or it could be, and or uh, more so uh, something where people love you or what you do, what you produce, develop, what you're committed to, that devotion once again, 
Um, I'm also hearing a sensitive subject. Interesting, but I feel like that was random. Um, whatever this ends up being for you, you're going to feel as if there's a reason to celebrate. It almost feels like people at a certain point, if not multiple points throughout the day, are celebrating you. You're one to be acknowledged, to be honored, and viewed as royalty in connection to, tied up to, I feel like one if not multiple uh, skill sets of importance. I also feel like your helpful nature is taking a highlight. Um, helping other people feels quite fulfilling. And so I feel like that could tie into a dream, if not multiple, of yours. More comforting times ahead is what I'm hearing. And I also feel like for the most part, the energy throughout this specific Wednesday will feel better than Monday and Tuesday, but it still feels a little bit off or just that struggle might still be alive within your situation. Um, I mean, there is a reason why I've been struggling to speak a bit. Anyways, to continue for the right side, it's very interesting how we're kind of zigzagging, but I feel like that might be the vibe of the day, the ups and downs, um, the motivation and then the, the lack there of which, and then you're remotivated again. Um, but the sun card, needing to heal from what completed, okay, what you put to an end, potentially needing to heal, but still feeling a bit sunny, some of which needing to heal within nature is what I'm getting. But I feel as if it's a day where you're needing to protect your inner peace and heal from what you've been through once again and even what you're going through so that you can glow and shine like the sun, okay? Like the sunny um, vibe that you truly are deep down. Um, because I do feel as if you're going to be reminded of a past situation that was truly, truly unhealthy. And I don't know why this is coming up, but you know, Mercury retrograde can be a time where the past is reminded to you left and right um, or just uh, occasionally. Um, to keep you uh, in a healthy perspective, but also out of preparation for uh, certain changes, developments um, uh, lying ahead, okay? Um, and even potentially a time for you to figure out more so what you really want. And that's important. What else do we have? What else do we have? I'm hearing I am free. I am free. What are you free from? And it might be this reminder that it may be just because you don't have this perfect situation or things are imperfect where you're, you are now or what you have at hand doesn't mean that you should have stuck with a situation, if not multiple, from the recent past or rewinding back further for some that would have left you with a lack of freedom, all right? I'm also hearing a lack of self-expression. Very interesting. Um, also coming out the King of Pentacles. I do feel as if it's a day where you're honoring one's needs at certain points or needing to remember to do so um, for the sake of your confidence. Again, I'm being drawn to, to um, see the word royal, okay, royalty with that king of pentacles. What do you need the most at this current moment? Need to ask yourself that question at certain points throughout the day and then don't question whether or not to move towards it. Do I need most to step away from the situation to go for a walk in nature, get some sunlight if possible? Do I need to go for a workout? Do I need to take care of my skin? Do I need to take a nap, okay? Is it gonna be most uh, beneficial just to get this work done now? Trust your intuition, uh, your feelings, your, the sensitivity that comes about in regards to whatever needs to get done, what you need the most, it's truly essential. Um, but the Six of Cups, I mean, naturally, because I do feel like, again, it's a day where you're being reminded of the past for a multitude of reasons, but not to let it discourage you, but to remind you of how much better things are now and how much better they will be moving forward. Um, but it doesn't come without certain levels of courage and certain choices. I feel like one in particular is going to be highlighted at the very least um, to prepare for. Because they're saying you're in the driver's seat. And I feel like on one end, you're feeling quite strong, like, like a bull, right? And then on the other side, uh, certain other moments throughout the day, you're feeling this sensitive sort of healing, uh, needing kind of energy coming about. But they're saying either way, you're going to be feeling sensitive in certain ways. Um, I do feel as if there's strong Leo and Taurus energy um, and Libra energy drawn to this reading or just within your chart. Um, or you could be wrapped up with one, if not multiple, of those three energies. Uh, I also feel like there's going to be one, if not multiple points throughout the day where you do need to just catch your breath and do your best to rest, okay? And they're saying this is a day that reminds you through it all. 
you're being protected from heavy energy in one if not multiple ways all right so if this was truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy your wednesday and i'll see you next time